Board Games 4K. Hello, we're back and today we're going to be looking at a no less than three mini expansions for the acclaimed tower defense kind of game dawn of the zeds and we got three expansion packs here we got the expansion pack one slipping forward we got expansion pack two the new player blues and then we got the third expansion pack rumors and rails and we'll be opening these packs up we'll be having a look see what's in there and we'll be giving you not not final thoughts because we haven't played with them but we'll just be giving you a final sort of thoughts about our first impressions about the components and stuff that's in in these packs and i think there's going to be uh, another three expansions that has been rumored to sort of be released soon so uh, when they finally arrive we'll give you a, a little overview of those as well so uh, yeah let's uh, let's rip these packs open okay so uh pack number one we got the stepping forward pack it's got uh, i don't know what it means checkmates on there and uh yeah so let's have a look see what it says on the on the other side it says uh new heroes of farm and are stepping forward stepping forward features four new characters from four dawn of the zeds third edition who are stepping forward ready to confront the zeds big wheels carter brings truckloads of supplies and ammo to town plowing over any zeds again his way may hauser supports heroes by deserving ammo and lending her marksmanship and aid to the cause general leader hauser's well-trained thoroughbred races across Farmendale and assists heroes in need while charging through dangers. The checkmates are the new heroic civilians, Lonely Hearts Game Club, whose strength increases with refugees in the camp. So we get four hero cards, one counter sheet, and one Farmendale dossier sheet. So let's, uh, let's tear this open and look. So what we got? We got a, it's an instruction sheet. So that's not too bad, is it? Yeah, so, uh, Tells us all about uh, the extra heroes. So what we got here? We've got a counter sheet. Yeah, so uh, Big Wheels Carter, it looks like it's a truck of some sort, doesn't it? Though? So uh, yeah, so yeah, it looks like a bloke who rides around in a truck, like the bloke out of that Steven Spielberg movie, Jewel, remember? So uh, yeah, so we've got a double-sided thing that tells us all about the different characters and everything. So we've got uh, Mrs. Mayhauser, yeah, so Thrifty Quartermaster, while she's in town space, you receive a saving roll for each ammo you lose or spend for any reason on a roll. Five or six, the ammo is lost or spent. And also, she's a combat coach. She receives one strength hand to hand for any unit that she's stacked with. So that's pretty handy stuff, right? Uh, let's have a look at the horsey. So General Lee. So saddle up. Uh, General Lee can carry one non-mounted human or primate hero at, at a time. The hero receives a free ride as part of the General Lee's movement action. So there you go. So uh, yeah, it does cavalry charge, horse sense. When a unit has no rider, it can cannot voluntarily enter a chaos or tunnel space. So there you go. Right, so checkmates, this is a gaming club, right? So at the start of each action phase, roll the die. If the result is greater than the number of event actions, receive that turn, gain one additional event, blah, 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 blah. So uh, yeah, so there you go. And uh, we've all looked at this one. So uh, Zed's plow, so you can, yeah, you can plow through Zed's with this one. Uh, cargo, hauler, so that's all good and well, isn't it? So, and there's the uh, general chits. There's the general chits for this pack. So it uh, looks like, uh, yeah, so I don't know. So yeah, there you go. So that's the first expansion. Just a few extra heroes for your game and all that sort of thing. Let's have a look at the second expansion, which is new player blues. And this one says on the back, because Sometimes every Z player gets the blues. This expansion pack features 13 new outbreak blue level event and fake cards, broadening the narrative and gameplay excitement. Zeds are learning to move in new ways, catching the citizens of Farmandale unaware. Panic, confusion, and arguments only help the Zeds cause, so it's important that citizens stick together during these dark times. In addition, a new hero has arrived. No one knows what bouncing Betty Bolivar is fighting for, but when they what they do know is a single mind of destruction she's capable of with a personal vendetta against the Zeds. She charges in with nothing but her fists and determination. So we got one hero card, nine events cards, one four fake cards, one counter sheet, a Farmandale dossier sheet and a rule sheet. So let's tear this. So there's old Betty Bolivar, right? Looks like the, uh, What's her name? Vasquez out of uh, Aliens, right? So it says the unit cannot make gun for attacks. It's personal, it says here. When on a full strength side, all her hand-to-hand -hand combat is on the human's times three column. On a reduced strength side, all her hand-to-hand -hand combat is on the human's times two column. So uh, deathless, she, when she makes a saving roll, she can roll two dice and choose the better outcome. So not too bad. Definitely looks like Vasquez out of Aliens, I don't you reckon? 
So uh, yes, yeah, so we've got some fake cards here. Yeah, a couple of four fake cards. So uh, City Planner Strike Back. Play to eliminate one Z unit as he tries to enter a town space. Play to try, play, play to negate any future play this card event to re-roll any one dial, two dial outcomes that include a one. So yeah, the Mayor's Daughter is missing. Uh, players in units in town centre cannot move for the remainder of the turn. Oh my goodness. And play this card, if possible, select two player units in the same space. They cannot perform any further acts. So, oh, so they're all pretty nasty stuff, right? And we get some extra event cards. I think there's 30 there. So uh, denial is not a river in Egypt. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, fortune favours the prepared. Yeah, uh, I am psyched for this. Let's move people. Okay. Beginning of phase Z, uh, Z pressure movement, right? So during this phase, all oh, right, so blah blah blah. Uh, panic is self preservation. Shh, I know they're out there standing strongest when alone, and there's no time for that, right? So um, there's also an end card. Are there any left? So uh, yeah, so there we go. And then we get the the chits for this one, nice and thick, right? And also, we get a couple of these extra bits and bobs a little rule sheet tells you how to use the extra rules and then we got the Farmerdale dossier thingy on bouncing betty bolivar so uh all good stuff right let's move on to the third expansion pack which is uh rumors and rails and this one says on here two new game systems myriad new strategies this expansion pack features two new game systems in fact in the first refugees are more helpful than ever as they bring with them rumors incredibly useful items around the greater farmandale area all rumor chits provide heroes with special goodies or abilities when discovered such as the darpa battle suit that allows any hero to be tough or discovering the secret airbase that provides a free hill research or event action each turn. The second system features two trains operating from the town's rail junction, providing the heroes with new modes of transportation as well as becoming supplemental barricades. So you get three count sheets, one stick sheet, and one rule sheet. So let's have a let's uh, crack this this beast open and see what's in this one. So here we go, we've got a counter sheet here. I don't know what that is. Will probably tell us in the thingy. So another counter sheet. Yes, yeah, so these are rumours, right? So yeah, Federal Gun Registry, yeah, blah blah blah. So double battle suit, and you've got some rails here. One sticker sheet there, and then we've got a little rule sheet that tells you how to use the rails. All right. And rumours as well, yeah. So it's a little bit thin on the ground, this one. So not really sure what you're going to do with, the, with these stickers here, but um, I don't know. Maybe I'm going to stick them somewhere, obviously. But anyway, so yeah, it's a little bit thin, that one. A little bit feeble. Not much in the pack. But um, so there you go. There's three expansions for Dawn of the Zeds. It's the three latest mini expansions for Dawn of the Zeds. Third edition. And uh, yeah, I hope that was useful. Uh, sort of about... I think about eight quid each in the UK. So the third one was a little bit thin on the ground components, wasn't it? So I had, you know, eight quid for like three bits of cardboard. It's probably a bit of a rip, isn't it? But um, the other two, yeah, pretty good. But if you get all three, they're going to change the game up and uh, breathe new life into an absolutely wonderful tower defence kind of zombie game. So um, there you go. So like we said, we will say this. If you're new here, give us a, a, a subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up and all that sort of stuff and a comment in the section below and we'll see you in the next video.